Well, it's official. It's exciting. We are getting a brand new addition to the Grand Theft Auto series. It just, dude, I've got, I've got chills thinking about this. I can't believe it's finally real. It's actually happening. Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Yes, that's right. They are officially on the third console generation. It's like, I don't even know how many consoles at this point. I tweeted about it this morning. But as of this morning, Rockstar officially announced that an expanded and enhanced edition of GTA 5 is coming to the next-gen consoles at the end of the year on November 11th, I believe it is. So, uh, I mean, we all kind of knew this was coming. We all kind of expected this, but uh, it, we've officially got a date now. Honestly, it's a little bit later than what I was expecting, and um, I don't know. Like, it, when they say expanded and enhanced, it, it, it kind of sounds a little bit exciting. Like, obviously, the graphics are going to be better, but what else are they going to do? How are they going to expand it? I'm not sure. They, they could, you know, expand it by adding a couple of extra horns on the vehicles, or we could actually have some meaningful expansions coming to the game. We'll see what happens. Obviously, as we find out more information, I will be sure to let you guys know. Now, one thing for those guys who are still playing GTA Online, one thing that's kind of exciting is if you're on PlayStation, if you have PlayStation Plus, you're actually going to get $1 million GTA dollars per month, like $1 million in shark card money per month, leading up to this release. So pretty much all year long, million bucks a month, it'll buy you a couple of cars or whatever else you want. I just thought that was kind of cool. Apparently they're gonna have some sort of a, a partnership with PlayStation. I think the first three months of GTA Online on next gen are gonna be free on PlayStation or something like that. So uh, either way, if you're on PlayStation, you're getting hooked up with some cash, which is, you know, it, it is kind of exciting. Also, I do want to mention the gameplay you guys are watching in the background here is from Enter. I found his YouTube channel recently. He uploads all kinds of crazy GTA realism mod videos. They're honestly really, really good. And it's just cool to think about. This might be what next-gen GTA looks like or even GTA 6 or something like that. So I'll link his channel down in the description. Now, along with this news about GTA 5, Rockstar also had some other announcements this morning regarding GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and then also Grand Theft Auto 3, which which is, is kind of interesting. So as for GTA Online, we've got some big updates on the way. We've got eight new stunt races they're going to be releasing next week, which I'm kind of excited about. We'll probably end up checking those out. And then we actually have what seems like a pretty solid update coming on later this summer. They said it was going to have underground car meets, new customization and, and ways to, you know, kind of show off your car. You're going to have new races and race types. And then there's also, it, it sounds like we're going to kind of have missions and, and heists and, and, you know, robbery missions. Where we're going to have to steal high profile vehicles and then use mod modified getaway vehicles to be able to make it happen. I don't know. Not too many details are available. We didn't get a trailer or anything like that, but it does sound kind of cool. So like the, the car culture of GTA Online, which is personally my favorite part and I think for a lot of people their favorite parts that's going to be kind of the focus of this update coming this summer so that's all really good news I mean you know all, all the jokes and memes aside about how long GTA has been around it's truly a, a fantastic game like GTA Online has completely changed the way we play video games and, and you know even now you know what seems like nearly a decade later it's still really really good and, and they still have updates coming out for it and they're still meaningful and stuff like that so yeah I, I mean it it does sometimes feel like a bit of a money grab and it, it, a lot of people would like to see GTA 6 even sooner. It's still a fantastic game and they're still supporting it. So memes aside, jokes aside, I, I'm actually kind of excited to see what they do with online this summer and then later on this year once they have the better consoles to be able to work with. Red Dead Online has some updates coming as well, pretty much exactly in line with GTA Online. So they're gonna be getting eight new races here soon. And then later on this summer, they're gonna be getting a bunch of new missions added to the universe that include everything from intimidation to unsavory crimes to high stakes robberies. I haven't really touched this very much since like the first couple months after launch. So I, I don't know too much of what's going on here, but uh, it, it does sound pretty good. I know some of you guys are probably still enjoying Red Dead Online. It's something I probably could hop back into at some point, but I feel so far removed from it. I wouldn't even know where to begin. So that's exciting. If you're playing Red Dead Online, you're getting new content as well. And then finally, last but not least, the thing that kind of has me, me scratching my head a little bit is uh, they mentioned in this Newswire post 
that the GTA 3 20th anniversary is coming up. So it was originally released on October 22nd, 2001. So in a couple of months, we're gonna have the 20 year anniversary and Rockstar said that they've got some fun surprises in store and they kind of alluded to like not all of them are going to be in GTA Online. So I, I wonder what that means. You know, obviously we could, you know, get some vehicles or get some weapons or get, you know, some, some clothing or something like that in GTA Online. What would they do outside of GTA Online? I, I, I find it unlikely that we would get some sort of a remaster or something like that, but I, I'm not going to say that's not possible. I don't know. GTA 3 is, is kind of what set the, the series in the direction of where it went. It, it was kind of like a genre defining, you know, kind of like newfound way of, of making a game. And it, it just, it, it kind of changed the scape of Grand Theft Auto going forward. So it would be really cool to see a remake to that. I just, I, I, I don't know if that's what we're gonna get. I just, I can't think of many other options outside of GT Online that they would do for it. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but uh, yeah. That, my friends, is the big, big, exciting new news. GTA Online and GTA 5 coming to the next-gen consoles. I do think it is kind of exciting. If we get some genuine, like, serious expansions and new content and stuff like that, that would be really exciting. I don't know how much of that we're going to get. But either way, the good news is, is this is the last iteration of GTA 5 we're going to see. I I at least, I, I, I will eat this headset if I'm wrong. I don't think we will get another version of GTA 5 going forward. I think the next GTA game we're going to get, if it's not a remaster of a previous one, is going to be GTA 6. We're, we're not going to be seeing GTA 5 remake, remake, remake on the PlayStation 6. That's just not going to happen. So, going forward, the next new addition to the series should be GTA 6. And it kind of gives me chills thinking about that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Catch you all later. Peace out.